Lord one. Y'all there? You ain't got to stay. We just gonna go here, okay? Read. Oh, that thou wouldest win the heaven. Somebody say that in. Uh huh. Read. Well, what? 
the people of God are lifted. In other words, their finances switch. Their spiritual, we want to get closer to God. We start having angelic visitations. We start seeing even the sword of Joshua. We'll see the sword of Gideon draw. We'll see the javelin of Joshua release. We'll see the movement of God. We'll see our enemies look. We'll see our enemies even be at peace with us. You know they don't like you, and you might not like them, but there will be such a peace that your enemies will be trying to find a way to bless you. And what does the Bible call that? And you 
Matthew 6 and 10. What's that? Thy kingdom come. Uh -huh. Thy will be done. No, here's the, here's the part where we get good and good and good and good enough. What's next? Oh, wait a minute. At your house. As it is where? In heaven. Oh, wait a minute. So the scripture is giving us witness to. See, one thing about the scripture. If anything has happened anywhere else, it can happen everywhere. Did y'all hear him? So the scripture is giving witness to us that whatever is in heaven, we should be pulling it down to the earth. Because it says, thy kingdom come. Well, the Lord's kingdom has already come when Jesus came. So what is he saying? He's saying the rulership, the way we govern the earth. He said the same way I run heaven is the same way you can expect to run the earth. And the same way I run heaven with increase and no lack and no sickness and no disease and no poverty and no chaos and no confusion is the same way.
God bless you, girl. You're in the vein today. You saw me spinning. You might not really know what you're asking. Let me give you an example. A young lady came to me. She believed that her husband was cheating on her. And she said, I'd like to find out what the deal is. And the first thing I asked her, I said, is your heart ready for it? Money from somewhere else to help them out. 
detail so that this way you won't keep getting cut, you won't keep getting hurt, and you won't have to keep repeating a lesson. And so now Isaiah, he says to the Lord, Lord, that you would rend the heavens and that you would come down. The Bible even says that the angels were ascending and descending. They were going up and they were going down. The Lord gave me a word last year. He gave me the word trafficking. I worked with some of the sex trafficking people, but this wasn't that kind of trafficking. But he says this. He said that the angels were trafficking. And one thing that trafficking does is they take one thing on a whole other route to get it somewhere else. And so God said what he was doing in the life of the believers, he was allowing the angels to track it. In other words, they was coming out of heaven, but they had a Pacific route to stay on. That's why God says when something is for you, nothing can hinder it. And then God reminded me of the mighty man named Luke. And God says even when things seem like they're held up, God says that when things get held up or seem like they're so delayed and they're not moving in your open heaven, the Bible says that Luke said God has given a mouth and a wisdom that nobody can gainsay or resist what you say.